Hello, Senior Stoner fans. It's the real Senior Stoner back at you for your G Pen Rome dab of the day. Today is Monday. Hello, everybody. I did okay in school. As a young kid, I didn't like school. As an older kid, I hated school. As an adult in college, I really disliked school. I just never liked school. There was one particular thing in school I had a very hard time with. I had a hard time with anything with numbers. I was very good at math. Addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and percentages. I mean, I can do it to this day in my head. A lot of numbers. Or I can get close with even huge numbers. <sighs> Brings us to the topic. I was great at simple math. Incredibly good at simple math. But then they came out with this thing called the new math. I think when I was like in sixth grade. So seventh, eighth, ninth grade, I was like in, I'm studying Greek. And I didn't get it. Because they were trying to teach me a thing called algebra. And then they were trying to force me to learn a thing called trigonometry. Now, why you would say a senior stoner talking about math and trigonometry and algebra because it finally hit me. It takes a long time sometimes for me to get things, but when I do, they're pearls. Life, we all thought, was math. We all thought we'd get by with addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, percentages and maybe we could even do fractions okay that is the hardest stuff you'd have to do in life to get by percentages and fractions maybe decimals but that's straight math boy was i wrong boy were we were we all wrong it is not the simple math that is life simple math gets you to a certain point that's my analogy Simple math gets you to a place. But if you want to excel, if you want to fix something, if you want to find out the root cause, you need to know algebra or trigonometry because it's not 2 plus 2 is 4 anymore. It's not 8 minus 4 is 4. It's not 4 times 4 is 16. It's not 16 divided by 4 is 4. That doesn't work anymore. When you're in a world of chronic pain, when you're in a world of invisible illness, when you're in a world of the things you try that are the things people say to try don't work, well, guess what? You're in a world of algebra. You're in a world where the sine, cosine, tangent, hypotenuse, whatever the words are, with a semicolon and a multiplication sign equal the number. Now, you tell me how to go figure that out, okay? Think, think about this. You tell me, oh, you're going to say there's a formula. All right, well, I don't carry my formula card with me. That's the challenge. When you're on the hamster wheel of pain, when you're on the Ferris wheel of life, and you're living your circular life, you always have a chance for hope, and you always have a chance for opportunity as it turns over again. But the challenge is to fine-tune things. This is the reality, to fine-tune things, to get it where you really want it in the sweet spot. Math isn't going to do it for you. You're going to need higher test things. You're going to need algebra. You're going to need the other special things. Now, I want to throw something out there because I myself won't be able to do that. It just is an impossible task. It's like asking me to lift 500 pounds. What about enlisting help? What about finding people, services people, that do the algebra for you? Now, I will tell you that I was in therapy for a long time, voluntarily, and it really felt like it helped me because I think, in summary, what a therapist does for you, those of us who can only do math, they help you figure out and understand and translate the algebra. You're not going to find one of those right now, let's say. So what you need to think about is maybe there's a place you can go. 
Maybe there's a book you can read. Maybe there's a YouTube video you can watch. Maybe there's a podcast you can listen to that'll give you the techniques to help you with the algebra. Because the complex nature of the human spirit, the complex nature of our individualized nature, the complex situations that we live in lend themselves to needing help sometimes. And this is the point. We know we can't do it ourselves. It's a given. Our skills are math only. The job entails algebra. You can try. We'll get the numbers right. If you look for help anywhere that's credible, you may be able to do some of the numbers. So, translation. If we keep beating our head or keep beating the dead horse or whatever the word is to try to get ourselves to understand it, which we're not going to do, you're just going to keep beating the dead horse. If you move and change paradigm just a little bit and say, hold on, I need help. It doesn't have to be a person. It can be a book. It can be a podcast. It can be a thing. But I need guidance now because I'm not able to solve this on my own. That's really what it comes down to. Okay, you're raising your hand and you're saying, I only understand simple math. Help me with the algebra translation. I can only accomplish certain things, fix certain things in my life. I might need help with others. And this brings it back to senior stoner. I'm trying to help everybody. I'm praying that what I'm talking about helps people. Might not be enough. So what I'm encouraging people to do, I might only be able to help you with the math. Block and tackle. I'm really good at basics. Maybe you have to go further for help with the algebra. Let's take our dad. And let's think about that today as we go through the day. I think I've really hit on something. And I think that what I've hit on needs to be considered an action item. In other words, after we think about it, we really might need to do something. It could really help us if we do. Everybody's going to figure out something different to accomplish, to do. But if you do something, if this is an action item, and I have driven people to do something, I am really satisfied. Because there are so many people out there like me who are incredibly good at addition, subtraction, multiplication, percentages, and fractions and decimals, but we don't understand and can't even write our own names down when it comes to algebra. So there's a world of help out there. Let's capitalize on it. G Pen Rome, dab of the day with a tasty banana sorbet sativa dab by SoCal Dabbers. We're hitting it at 650 degrees Fahrenheit today. Hope you all have a great day. Smooth as silk. This one is Mrs. Stoner's favorite vape device. All right, everybody. <coughs> Let's get cooking on that algebra. Cheers.